I've been scrubbing cucumbers, pickling cucumbers, because I'm making dill pickles. Now I'm just rinsing them off. And I'm going to put them on the towel to dry. This is why you want to wash your cucumbers, pickling cucumbers too, because your water, your cucumbers are going to be dirty. That's why your water is dirty. Two hours later. Got the pickling cukes all cut up. Got the ends cut off. Got the jars sanitized and heating up. Fixing and get the dill pickle juice liquor liquor liquid ready. When you're packing the spears in, you want to pack them in as close together as possible and get as many in. Today you're, we're using Mrs. Wages dill pickling spice quick processing and we're going to use Mrs. Wages extra crunch that's going to give the extra crisp. Also, make sure when you're using the uh, pickling cucumbers, you use the ones that are like the big fat or the small fat knobby ones is what I like to say. That's the best pickling cucumbers. I'll be adding a quarter teaspoon to each of my jars for the extra crunch. As you see, I am not only getting my jars ready, getting my lids ready. This is not mandatory now, but I'm old school. I like having my lids warm up. There's like rat droppings and stuff. So I, in the factories where they make the lids, I like to sterilize my lids and everything before I um, use them. And then also get them in warm water, not boiling water, to loosen up the, the stuff right here to help make it hold, seal more, the seal. Here's the dill pickle liquid getting ready. We're heating it up, getting it ready to go. Each step is a process and that process getting closer. Here's two samples. I got ready. I'm waiting on the liquid to get ready and then what I'm going to do is pour liquid over. I'm going to give it a half inch head space and then I'm going to use Pokey Joe to get the air bubbles out. Then I'm going to put a lid on and a ring on, finger grip tight, and then stick it in the water bath canner. And then we're going to get things going. It is a, I do believe for a pint, a 15 minute, I believe. Okay, my bad. Quarts are for 15 minutes, pints are for 10 minutes. Alright, got the liquid in there. I'm trying to make sure all the air bubbles are out and the cucumbers are below. The liquid as much as possible. And then I have a half inch head space right there. Do you see? All right. So I do. So now I take my vinegar, my towel, and wipe the rim of the jar really good. You want a clean seal. You don't want nothing on there. It's kind of hard to do this with your hand. It looks like it's up out of there. Sorry guys, I'm trying to do this one handed. Then grab a ring. Finger grip tight. Oh. <sighs> yep. And grab the jar lifter. Bring it over and set it in. 
just like that. All right, so we got the jars in the water. We're waiting for it to get to boiling stage. And then we start the 10 minutes since these are pints. And then we cut it off. We wait a few minutes, then we take them out and put them on the counter on a towel. Don't let them touch your counter space because they could crack. And then we let them come to room temperature, usually six to 12 hours. I wait overnight, get a good seal. Then I'll label them and put them away. All right, guys, and so now I'll be labeling them. They all sealed. So did the other batch. And putting them on my shelf. Ooh, I can't wait. See you guys. Like, subscribe, comment. What would you like to see a video of? That's what I'd like to hear from you guys. Have a great night, day, wherever you're at. God bless.